What's up YouTube, it's The Equipment Junkie here and we are back with another episode of The Equipment Report. So let's get right into it. Roll the clip. All right guys, so on this episode of The Equipment Report, episode number three, we're gonna be going over a few things, but specifically, Victor Hovland's what's in the bag at Mayakobo when he won last week, and then Bryson and Cobra, the new stuff they're working on together as we look into 2022. Um, some new products, new irons, new driver. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So pretty interesting storyline last week. Obviously, Victor Hovland won back to back. So he won in 2020, the Mayakobo Classic, and then now 2021. But what's even more interesting about last week was the fact that Victor Hovland won without his driver. If you follow us on Twitter, you would have seen that on Wednesday or Thursday, not 100% clarification there, Danny Lee broke Victor Hovland's driver on the driving range, testing it out, hitting golf balls. So Hovland didn't have a backup driver shaft. He actually had to go to James Hahn and use his backup Fujikira Speeder 661 in his Ping G425 LST. So Hovland had a backup head, he had to borrow another shaft, then goes out and wins with the new driver. Pretty crazy stuff. It's a testament, first of all, to just show you how good these guys are. They always, they don't always need perfect equipment. They don't always need exactly what they normally have to go out and perform at their best. At the same time, sometimes putting something new in play or sometimes trying something out that you normally wouldn't have used um, kind of frees you up, right? Because he probably didn't expect to drive it that well. And so he wasn't worried about probably putting it in play as much, hitting it as far. Um, and so obviously I think it freed him up enough to where he could drive it really well and he won. So pretty, uh, pretty interesting stuff there. Pretty cool stuff right there. So like I said, Hovland's using a Ping G425 LST with the Fujikira Speeder 661. It'll be interesting to see if he actually keeps that shaft in the bag. I mean, hard to argue with it if he won with it. At the same time, it's not normally what he's used to. So it'll be interesting to see what he does as far as that goes. Nine degree driver head at like 8.4 degrees with that. As far as three wood, Hovland is playing a tailor-made Sim 15 degrees. So the older sim, not the new one, with a Mitsubishi Tensei Blue AV Raw 85 TX. So not fully ping through and through, but majority ping clubs for a ping staffer. As far as irons go, Victor Hovland is using the Ping I-210 in his 4 through pitching wedge with the lower launching KBS Tour V120X. In his 3 iron, he's using Titleist's U505 with a graphite design Tour ADDI 85X. So a little bit higher launching in the three iron makes sense, hitting that off the ground more, and then a little bit lower launching in the irons, but still a lighter weight, lower launching shaft um, in the Tour V. When we get into Victor Hovland's wedges, he's gonna be using the Ping Glide Forged Pro in his 50 and 56, both the standard sole grinds, and then a Vokey T-Grind Custom that Aaron Dill made. It has three bounce sections, so we'll show a picture here somewhere, um, but it has three different bounce sections, pretty cool looking wedge. It was a T-grind that was then hand ground to Hovland specs. In the shafts, he goes with the KBS Tour V, but the 130X, so a little bit heavier. Obviously looking for something a little bit lower launching, probably a little bit lower spinning. And as I said, I think last week or a couple weeks ago, these guys are able to get fresh wedge heads every single week. So sometimes it makes sense to go into something lower launching and lower spinning in the wedge shafts because at the end of the day, they're only playing wedges for maybe a month at a time. So they're always gonna have a significant amount of spin and having something with a stiffer tip section in the shaft is going to allow it to launch lower, easier to flight in the wind, etc. So yeah, makes a lot of sense and a pretty solid setup right there. As far as the putter, Victor Hovland is using the Ping if you saw our Instagram, it's the Hovland Proto. So the, the putter itself is based on a tailor-made Mullen counterbalance, the TP Collection Mullen counterbalance putter he used in college. It was originally called the Hovland Proto, made after that putter for Victor Hovland. They've had it for a while, and they actually added it to their PLD program. So PLD stands for Ping Lab Design, 
And if you go and get in contact with a ping rep and want to go out to ping headquarters and get fitted for a putter, you have access to the PLD program and the PLD putters. So when that was a prototype, you would not have had access to it, but now you do have access to it if you were to order a PLD putter through ping. And the model name of that putter now is gonna be the ping PLD DS72. So interesting little tidbit right there, a prototype after a guy who's, I mean, Hovland's really good, we all know that, but he's not a major champion. He's not a huge, huge name yet. So for them to take a putter based off of him and turn it into an actual design that they sell through their specialized program is pretty interesting and a pretty cool thing to see for sure. So that's about it. That's Victor Hovland's setup right there. Ping guy through and through for the most part. I mean, I guess three out of the 14 are not ping. So the lob wedge, the three iron, and the three wood are not ping. But for the most part, a ping setup and a solid ping setup at that. Victor Hovland's got a great future. He's going to be a really fun guy to follow in the next few years. And, um, yeah, I'm excited to see uh, how his future turns out as we continue to watch him get better. All right, y'all. So the next thing we're going to kind of get into here is talking about some of the 2022 Cobra stuff that is rumored to be coming out. So I'm not going to confirm the name, um, but the rumored name is the Cobra King LTD 2022. So it's essentially just a revamped version of the original Cobra King LTD. Apparently there's going to be three models of the driver. If you follow us on Instagram, you can go back a few posts and see the names of those models that are supposed to be coming out. We were able to get a screenshot of the new model through Bryson's YouTube. Uh, unfortunately, we were asked to take it down and try to be respectful, trying to work with companies. We're not really trying to piss anybody off. We're just trying to be the first ones to get stuff posted. So. Got some screenshots, posted them. If you saw them, you saw them. If you didn't, you didn't. But nonetheless, it looks like a good driver, and obviously Bryson's gonna say all these great things about it because he's with Cobra and they're paying him to say those things, but is it actually a good driver? I guess we'll find out, and hopefully they will send us one to test so we can give you guys a really fair and honest review, because that's what we wanna do. If it sucks, I wanna tell you it sucks, and if it's really good, I wanna tell you it's really good. So hopefully we can get one in hand to try and deliver you guys something that is informative, honest, and uh, enjoyable to watch. So uh, yeah, that's as far as the driver goes, that's what we got for the 2022 Cobra King LTD driver rumored name. As far as the prototype irons Bryson was testing, we didn't really get any screenshots of those. We really couldn't see anything up close, but 3D printed is what we're hearing. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work, but you know what, with Bryson, you either love the guy or you hate the guy. He certainly says a lot and he certainly is going for views right now and he likes to keep eyes on him. So when he's talking about 3D printed, could it mean a super small section of the back cavity is 3D printed or the entire head's 3D printed? I really have no idea, but nonetheless, the word 3D printed irons uh, or words 3D printed irons is definitely something that's going to get in views, going to get eyeballs on the product. So, you know, I can't confirm or deny what's going on with the irons, but again, just another thing that'll be interesting to test and see in 2022. And honestly, you assume they're going to be good, but I guess we'll find out. So, yeah, as far as Cobra for 2022, that's kind of what we got. It's not much, but Hopefully in the next few months we can give you guys some more info and pictures and actually kind of unveil, uncover what's going on for that stuff in the new year. Alright guys, so we're going to finish this video off with kind of the most random equipment effect I could think of over the past week. And if you follow us on Twitter, you would have already seen this. But last week, Victor Hovland and Thomas Peters both won. Uh, on their respective tours. Victor Hovland won on the PGA Tour and Peters won on the European Tour. And they both used the same putter grip. Not a super stroke, not a golf pride. A win 15 inch counterbalance putter grip. Hovland used a red and black one and Peters used a black and blue one. And if you can believe it, your boy, the equipment junkie, uses the exact same putter grip. So obviously it's not half bad. 
and that's probably the most random equipment fact you'll hear over the past week. But nonetheless, something I thought that was kind of funny, so screw it. We'll just throw that in the video. All right, y'all, so that's going to conclude this episode of The Equipment Report. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.